Hello everybody. So today I want to share with you about the creosote sweeping log. Um, this is something you can use in your wood stove or your fireplace um, for wood burning appliances, um, not gas, not propane. Um, but it helps with creosote and creosote is like... <laughs> It would, creosote, the word, reminds me of kryptonite because, you know, kryptonite is bad for um, Superman. Creosote is bad in your wood stove and in your chimney and, um, you know, you can read all about that. But creosote is something that you do get and something that you need to take precautions to take care of because it is flammable. Um, it builds up in chimneys, wood stoves. So, so forth. So this product we used last year uh, was recommended to us. We bought this at Lowe's and um, at the end of the season, not even entirely the end of the season, I want to say February maybe, um, Lowe's had all of their wood stove stuff, stuff on clearance, including these. So I bought several of these, enough for um, Quite some time. In addition to these being on clearance, I got wood stove polish. I've got um, implements that you use, you know, when you're tending your fire, the poker, the grabber, things like that. Um, when, oh, I got um, like leather, solid leather gloves for like handling firewood and and to protect your hands and things as you're reaching in there. I just got a ton of great stuff. It was an awesome haul. I should have filmed it, but I didn't. So anyways, keep an eye out at Lowe's if you are wanting to use these or you want to stock up. Uh, they were at least half price, maybe more. I'm thinking this stuff was like 75% off. But um, anyways... So this, um, as you can see here, it says it's the number one best-selling creosote removing log. Um, it says it burns like a fire log. And it says people are happy about it. <laughs> um, and then um, this, everything about this, I mean, the box, there is an insert and there's also the log. It all has a ton of information. So plan to take a little time and read through everything. But if you turn on the box here, um, they like to abbreviate creosote log, creosote sweeping log as CSL. So when you see CSL, that's what they're talking about. And it says, this kind of tells you how often you need to use it. Um, your, when your wood stove or your wood appliance is burning hot, you don't have as much creosote buildup. It's the cooling and the warming and the cooling and the warming that really causes buildup. So um, also, it depends on what you're burning and if it's properly seasoned and so on and so forth. But here it's saying that um, if you're just using it on the weekend, um, you can use one CSL per season. If you're using um, one fire per day, you would use two CSL per season. And if you have continuous fires, you would use one CSL every two months. And also it says, get your chimney inspected, clean it. You also have to sweep your, your chimney. Um, and then there's fireplace instructions. So this is for the wood stove and this is for the fireplace. Um, and then if you turn the box again, there's more information, how it works. Over here, why use it? A little illustration. Then, inside the box is this very detailed um, instruction manual. And I do recommend that you read the entire thing. Uh, there are um, a whole list of things that you need to do before you use your, your log. Um, instructions for the damper, instructions for, you know, just all sorts of stuff. And it just goes on and on. And even some interesting facts, how it works, what it does. And then, additionally, 
the log itself has instructions on it. So kind of got the first, the first batch here is um, English. So basically what you need to do is you need to let your fire, here's my wood stove, you need to let your fire burn down to just embers and I'm in the process. You can kind of see here, it's red in there, it's hot, it's winding, it's winding down. But let's open it up so you can see it. This is my damper. This is my airflow. So I have to open those up first and then I can open the door here. Now my wood stove is front loading or top loading. Okay. So there she is. Uh, it's still, there's still some flame. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little flame. You don't want flame. So we're just gonna have embers. I'm gonna let this burn down further. Once it's burned down, till we just have embers, we are going to place the log toward the back of the wood stove. Okay. And what you need to do, you leave it in the package, you make sure that it's kind of pulled away from the log and you light either side and the packaging will burn and then the log will burn that's inside of there um, the damper you leave open the oxygen intake the air intake if you have one you reduce as far down as you possibly can i didn't let this go back that far then you just let it burn you make sure it burns if you need to rekindle it you do and you just let it do its thing and if you can you wait a few hours before you start a new fire so just so happens that this evening excuse my ashy mess here look all that wood debris and mess you know i have a love-hate relationship with the wood stove but i guess that's another video but anyways um so the plan is here this evening we're using our wood stove as our main source of heat right now we do have a propane furnace but it is off we do like to do these every two months. You need to do them after you've been burning for a while. Don't want to do it on a cold stove. They recommend two to three days of continual burning before you do the CSL log. So um, this evening we're going to go out to dinner. It's Red Robin Kids Night, if you guys know about that. It's a wonderful thing. Um, so before we go, I'm trying to time my coals, my embers, but this will all work out. I'm going to set up my log and um, just close it up. We'll go out for dinner, let it burn. Yeah, you know, make sure it's ignited well before I leave. Let it burn, and then we will, when we come home, we'll clean the ash out, and we will um, be ready to start up a new fire. Now this log um, is supposed to have lasting effects, so it will kind of work out some creosote initially, but it will also coat your chimney, coat the flu, the flu, and just help with creosote building up. So, um, what I'm gonna do is bring you back when I do have down to embers and I'm ready to go and um, I'll show you what that looks like getting it started. Okay, so now I have just embers. I kind of raked out some of the ashes here, no flame. And we're gonna put our log in, this side up. And I have uh, the lighter here in case I need to like the edges, which I don't think I do, just engulfed. I'm going to shut it up. I'm going to leave the damper open, lower the oxygen tank all the way down. You can see that reduces the flame a little and just let it burn. Okay. 
And it should, with the, all those uh, embers, it should, it should burn. I shouldn't have a problem needing to rekindle it. Those are hot. If you were where I am right now, you would, you would know that. All right, so I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done a few hours from now. So it has been a little over seven hours, so, or five hours, five and a half hours since I burn it the log and it is all finished burning in there. So I'm just gonna clean it up and start a new fire and that's all there is to it.